In April 2012, PETA released footage from a 15-month investigation into cruelty and illegal gambling in pigeon racing. At this starting point in California, 846 pigeons were forced to attempt a 325-mile flight back to Arizona. Hundreds of these birds did not make it back alive. 1,300 other birds who were originally registered for this race did not even survive training. We'd lose a third of them between wires, falcons, hawks, uh, bad weather, so on and so forth. We'd lose about a third every year. Every year, yeah. Imagine a Boston Marathon in which more than half the competitors never return and are presumed dead. This is typical in pigeon racing. They went the wrong way, I said it that day. In one race there was maybe about 40, one race home out of 769. The other race in Queens was a smaller race, there was 213 birds, but to this day there's only four. They called the race off, they're going to put the money at the next year's race. Is that because of the weather? Yeah. Pigeons have tested higher on intelligence tests than dogs and some primates. They use multiple senses and faculties to try to navigate their way home, but the odds are always against them. Lost birds are not equipped to fend for themselves in the wild because they have been raised in captivity. Eventually the road's going to take, it's going to go wire, the hawk's going to get it, something bad's going to happen. And down here anyway, you shoot the hawks. Yeah. Oh, I've shot them, but I don't care. they got to catch me. Oh, yeah. I get rid of them right away. you got to take them away because they have chips on them. The casualty rate from pigeon races is staggering, but the carnage doesn't end there. The birds who finish out of the money and those who aren't kept for breeding are usually killed by the pigeon racers after the season. You can take a bird in your hand mm-hmm. and take his breast like this, mm-hmm. squeeze his breast, and he can't breathe. Or you can drown them, or you can pull their heads off like you would a chicken. They end up dead either way. And on the end of the year, if these youngsters that are had from, from the new pigeon, they are not as good as my own pigeons, then I kill them. I kill them all, and I also kill the pigeon that I bought. To pigeon racers, Birds who don't win money are considered a waste of time and disposed of like a losing lottery ticket. Like the other blood sports such as cockfighting and dogfighting, pigeon racing is all about gambling, but it's the animals who pay the ultimate price. PETA investigators penetrated operations in which more than $200,000 is bet on a single race. This is merely a fraction of the estimated $15 $15 million wagered on pigeon races every year in America. We had about 2,100 some birds come in, $100 a piece, and there was $227,000. We're allowed to take 15% of that. All the betting is illegal and violates both federal and state laws. We don't say we're doing anything. There's a guy behind a black door in there. <laughs> Slip your money in. If they don't give you a 1099, nobody would count. This is on the side. This is a side deal. You got lawyers in this game, you have doctors, where you have criminals. Big time. Like bosses from the family. How is that? Because so much money's at stake, some pigeon racers will do whatever they can get away with to win. And between me and you, we got to go down to club today or tomorrow. We caught four guys you can I mean, I'm telling you because you know you're not in the game, you're not going to say nothing. And pigeon racers employ an arsenal of cruel psychological tactics to manipulate the birds. One example is that they separate lifelong loving mates and tear parents away from babies and eggs in order to compel the frantic and exhausted birds to fly to their home lofts even faster. I only want to think what some people do with them. What do you mean? They, they don't. They just use it. They just use the baby to, to get the, the bird to come home from the race, and they discard the baby. I had one bird that came in, and I couldn't get it in. I mean, it, it landed on the fence, fell over. It was a half hour before I get her in. She was so wasted. Please go to PETA.org to take action to stop this blood sport. Thank you.